Hello everyone, I'm Minifake1210, and today I have a review of set number 75317, The Mandalorian and the Child. The set retails for $20 and it's 295 pieces. First off, in the instruction manual, you have one for the Mandalorian, which at the back you have the parts list. And then you do have one for Baby Yoda there, which at the back has an advertisement for the Skywalker Saga. The box, it's got this lovely box art at the front, with the part count and all that there. You have the Child of Mandalorian, 113 and 1114, respectively. You have this nice art of the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda there. You have the back box, the other side, top, and bottom. Anyways, start off with Baby Yoda, of course. Baby Yoda has this nice little carriage there, which is very accurate to the one in the show. I'm very glad they kind of got that little detail there to make it look like it kind of flip closed, I guess. Anyways, Baby Yoda here. It's about the same size as the Yoda brick heads, I think slightly smaller. And of course you can turn the ears, that way they are happy like that. Or probably the more adorable way is that you can have them down and either like a sad look or kind of like he's begging for the uh, Mandalorian pendant thing. Kind of wish they put a three by three uh, dark tan plate there to kind of cover up that hole there, but that's fine. Otherwise, not much going on for Baby Yoda. I do like how they have the uh, nice collar there. They managed to capture that very well. Then the Mandalorian, he's got a whole bunch of detail on him. The cape is very nice. You do have his sniper rifle there, or what is that, vaporizing rifle, pretty much. Yeah, you can pop this off and give it to a regular minifigure, too. And they do have a whole bunch of extra pieces in this set with, like, lightsabers and um, the blaster piece, that piece there. Yeah, otherwise, there's a lot of brick-built detailing on them. There's only three prints, these two and that. Otherwise, the rest is brick-built. I think they captured it very well, although I'm not a big fan of the visor there. I think it's just a bit too wide. And actually, these front parts are just held in place. They're not actually connected to any studs, which is pretty interesting. And this blaster there is very cool. Although I don't understand why they gave him a whole bunch of little lightsaber things there. I'm not entirely sure what that's meant to represent. Anyways, that's my review of set number 75317, The Mandalorian and the Child. I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, please consider liking, sharing, and of course, subscribing and hitting the bell. I'll see you all in the next video, guys. Until then, goodbye.